Hey, Alabama fans, come on and let's huddle up and let's talk about the game the third weekend in October. Well, Tennessee, huh? Up in their house. Well, I asked you for some questions uh, relating to this week's game, so let's get right to them. Jessica? All right. Well, of course, everyone's main concern on offense is AJ. So the first question is from at Mitch Rector. Should Coach Saban limit AJ's playing time due to his knee issue? Hey, listen, you don't limit AJ's playing time. First of all, you got to think about winning. Secondly, I think it's about stupid for any football player not to be covering his knees while he's playing the game. No, we got to go up there and expect a fight out of this Tennessee team. This is a rivalry grain. Rivalry game, you see, the record doesn't come into play here. We got to be ready. All right. Um, at Toadman005 asked, as a man who played through any injury, what advice would you give McCarron? Well, it's, uh, I could give him advice about a lot of things. Believe me, he's getting good guidance and advice from his coaching staff. Uh, answering the question earlier about wearing knee protection, it's going to be a rule next year in the NFL, by the way, that everybody has to wear the pads, okay? Now, that ought to tell you something about it. You folks have fallen on your knee maybe before. To me, again, it's about stupid not wearing protection on your knee. Okay. The next question is from at jrob032. Is there any chance Bama's front four can get enough pressure on Bray, or will we need to blitz? You got to, you know... Bray and that Tennessee offense is pretty good, pretty darn good. The front four Alabama has is solid and can get some pressure on Bray. Wanting to blitz is a, a matter of choice. We utilize our athletes to the best of their abilities or try to get their best abilities done. I really believe our defense is going to not give Tennessee the yardage or the points that they've been able to get so far this season. Okay. Um, well, at U of A, Derek asked, I see this game much closer than fans and experts are saying. Your thoughts? Derek, I disagree with you. I see our team being able to run that football as well as pass the football against this Tennessee team. Again, our defense has to be able to slow Tennessee's drives down, get the football from them. If we do that, we'll execute our offense and score a lot of points. Okay, well... Perhaps assuming we score a lot of points, Mike Hayes asked a question from Facebook. Do you worry how Bama will respond in games that are close down the stretch since our only close game both this and last season was the 9-6 LSU loss? Mike, I don't worry about the games. You know, I know they're preparing to the best of their abilities. I really have a lot of faith and confidence in Coach Saban's style, his preparation, and his coaching staff. Sure. We, uh, we're concerned that our team's not going to play the best. And we don't play the best. Haven't played the best to our capabilities yet. But worry? No. Concern sometimes, yes, depends on the opponent and how much concern is actually there. But worry? No. So then you're not worried about Tennessee tomorrow, Daddy? I'm not worried about the Volunteers. I never have been worried about the Volunteers. And I'm not going to worry about the Volunteers. It's Roll Tide. R-O-L-L -L with a capital T-I-D-E. Okay, tide. get up there to that stadium and get behind the tide. Let them know you're there. They love that encouragement. Until next week, go get them. Ready? Break.